Hey guys, hopefully you're doing great. Today I want to show you one of my favorite pair of shoes that I've had. These are some brown shoes, brown formal shoes. And yeah, I wanted to talk to you about them. I actually have worn them quite a bit. So let me start by telling you about some of the details of the shoes. Yeah, the brand is JH Bass & Co. It's actually not a very popular brand for, yeah, I don't think so. I have actually never heard of them other than, well, from, from these shoes. The style, I don't know the style actually, I tried to look for it in the, in the webpage of GH Bass & Co, but I did not find anything. The price for what I've, I've found, yeah, I didn't find the, the specific style, but most of the shoes of the brand cost around 3,000 pesos, which is around 150 USD, US dollars. But also on the GH Bass & Co website, uh, if I try to buy it using US dollars, they are at around 120 US dollars, okay? 135, yeah, around that. Uh, I am not sure where they're, they're made. I'm guessing they're made in China, but yeah, it doesn't say anywhere. And some of the models that I found on JH Bass & Co, on the JH Bass & Co website, uh, say that they are made in Brazil. So yeah, maybe they're made in Brazil as well, but I don't know, yeah? Yeah, that's all I know. I also thought about weight, uh, about using a weight to weight them, uh, but the only one I have that we use for food, so I didn't want to get it dirty with shoes. <laughs> so yeah, I did not weight them. But yeah, they're pretty comfortable actually. Yeah, they're not that well made, but they're pretty comfortable, okay? Now, where did I get them from? I got them from my uncle. He actually gave them to me as a gift. They were a gift, uh, and I think that they were a gift for him as well. I think one of his friends gave him, uh, gifted them to him, and he gifted them to me because they didn't fit correctly. I'm not sure why his friend didn't wear them, or I think he bought them and he did not like them. So instead of returning them, he just gifted them away for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. My uncle has some some weird kind of friends. But yeah, they're pretty cool. They're a pretty nice pair of shoes. I really like them actually. Uh, yeah, the brand does not look pr pretty popular. The, it does not look that like the brand is very big. Uh, I actually tried to put it into the, the Google Trends. I'll show you a video of it. But it does look like they have been steadily increasing in popularity, especially since the beginning of 2022 or around there. But yeah, I don't think they're actually that popular. They have some history in their page, but it's small, very small history and it just sounds like it's very much uh, marketing history. Yeah, doesn't look very compelling actually. It does say that they have been around since 1876 and it, it says that they are looking for the most quality possible. But yeah, I'm not too sure about that actually. <laughs> they don't seem to have very much uh, what you would expect from a really high quality shoe. But I'll tell you about their construction in a second, okay? Let me tell you more about my experience with them. Uh, I have actually wore them quite often in maybe for around three years. They were my main shoes, yeah? They were the main shoes that I wore. Actually, since I began to work in a company called the AI Center, yeah, here in my city, I started to wear them a lot because I needed a pair of formal shoes because I was having some meetings with important people inside companies. So I had to, I had to wear better clothes, clothing, yeah? Wear more formal clothing because I wasn't really used to wearing formal clothing. I actually really enjoy wearing formal clothing since I was little, but I didn't really used to, right? 
but yeah, since I began to have meetings with important people, I started to wear more formal attire. I started to buy some button up shirts, some formal pants, and I had to wear these formal shoes, which I actually had. I actually have had since years ago, but I didn't really wear them until then. Yeah, it was around four years ago that I started to wear them a lot. And yeah, I use them daily, basically, every time I want to work. Yeah, I really, really enjoy them. They are a really nice color. I actually really enjoy this color. I'll show you some video of it, but they are really, really nice. I really enjoy the color. They have some a small, faintly little taint of red, but they're mostly a nice brown. Not too dark and not too light brown. Yeah, they're really, really nice. But I actually wore them too much at a time and they started to look really, really bad and I didn't really take care of them because I didn't know how to take care of them. So they started to look not that good, actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh, when I actually at the end of my time working in the AI Center, I started to take care of them better and they started to improve to look better yeah but not that good because i still didn't know about the good products for the shoes i actually used one grease one shoe grease which is was a, a brown shoe grease yeah which which was good enough for the time but i now looking back to it i know that they didn't look as good as they could have looked especially in the creases they look really light so it really showed the decreases in the shoe and it didn't look good actually but yeah, it's it's a really low quality grease that my family used before because well i guess because they didn't know any better so they used that grease i'll show you also uh, some pictures of the grease which i do not recommend you use at all after that i actually this last time, you can see that the shoe looks a lot better and the creases do, do not look that bad, do not look lighter. So you don't notice the creases as much. You still do when you look at them really close, but when wearing them, they don't actually show as much. I, I, I actually really like how they look right now. And it is because I used some Phoebe's leather cleaning soap. Let me show it to you. It's really popular, a really popular leather cleaning soap saddle soap and I removed all the grease that I had put in it and I used this Saphir Renovateur. Sorry about the pronunciation, I know it is in French and I do not know any French. <laughs> it is Renovateur or I think sometimes they call the they call it the Saphir Renovator. So yeah it's really really nice. Saphir Renovator I really recommend it. It really it really helps the leather. Yeah it really helps re 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 reno renovate the leather, yeah, basically. Really, really nice. It gives a lot of color, though some people don't like that it actually makes the color darker, but I really enjoy it because I think it shows more of how the leather looks when it's healthy. You know, it, it makes it look more healthy, more healthy leather. Yeah, really enjoy that. Also, I had to really work on these creases because they were really, really creased up. It looked really, really bad at, a, at some point. So I had to put, I actually used warm water and a lot of newsletter paper. And I pulled the leather with a lot of strength to remove the creases that it has. It, it had, yeah. And it's way better right now, though you can still see a lot of creases. But it's way better than it was before, yeah. Mm, yeah, also, some other thing, another thing that uh, has really bothered me lately 
In the right shoe, you can also actually see that the integrity of the toe cap has actually, it's actually gone. It, it doesn't have any integrity anymore. You can also actually see that it's, it's kind of punched in. So yeah, it's really bad actually. It doesn't look any, it doesn't look any good anymore because of that. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't wear them as often anymore actually, lately. Yeah, another reason is that I have better shoes now, but yeah. Yeah, now when I, when I wear them, they actually, I, I feel like they look like old, old shoes. So yeah, that's why I don't wear them as much as often anymore. But I still think they look pretty good. For a really casual look, they look pretty good, right? It doesn't look like formal shoes anymore for me, to me. Yeah. Uh, they were, I think they were pretty good still. I still wear them with formal, formal pants. I have some really nice formal pants, really nice blue formal pants that I really enjoy. I also recently bought these khaki, khaki pants that look really good with them as well. And I even think that they look really good with jeans for a more casual look. But yeah, really, really nice. I really enjoy them. I really like the shoes. I think the leather is pretty good. Uh, some more details about the construction. The leather, I think it's really, really good. You can also see some, well, what I think is patina coming into the leather here on the sides and also um, on the toe, on the cap, on the toe cap. And also in the back, you can see a small bit of patina, which I think looks really beautiful. Also on the creases, you can see a little bit of patina. So the leather has aged really, really nicely. The integrity of the shoe, as I said, is not as, as good. Yeah, the toe cap on the right shoe is gone. The integrity is gone, basically. Also, the, the heel is also a bit loose. Yeah, for the wear as well. Um, the sole also is, is only, a, it's not stitched down. The sole has only been uh, concrete put in, put on, yeah, glued on with concrete, with shoe concrete, I guess. Uh, on the inside, you can also see it has some foam. I also, I actually put this insole, yeah, on because the shoe insole was failing. But you can see that the, the shoe insole, I think it's some sort of leather, actually, some sort of low quality leather, but a really thin one. And it has some foam, some, some very, low quality foam and below that you can actually actually see that the construction is failing as well because you can just pull it off and you can see that it has a metal shank which is really good and below that just looks like a low quality materials you know yeah it's not a really high quality shoe at all yeah this is the first shoe that i wanted to show you this is i think uh, probably one of the oldest shoes that I still have in my in my shoe collection, shoe collection, yeah, the shoes that I wear. But I really enjoy them. I, I, I really I wore them daily, as I said, for a while, and I have really enjoyed them. I, I have really enjoyed using them. I'm really glad that my my aunt, no, my uncle, gave them to me. Yeah, I'm really grateful for that. And yeah, they have been re really nice. I think they were really great with my outfits. But yeah, that's it. That's all I can tell you about these shoes. Would I recommend buying them? I don't think so. I think there's better options out there, especially with shoes like Mermin or other options that are, are really close to the price point and that have higher quality materials and higher quality construction as well, right? But yeah. I really enjoy these shoes uh, and I really, really like the color, the color they have got, especially now the how the leather has aged. It is really, really nice. I'm actually thinking about, rim, about just breaking the whole shoe open. Yeah. And using that leather for something else, because I have been thinking about getting into leather working and this leather is really, really nice. I have you really enjoyed this leather. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. 
hopefully you enjoyed. Again, hopefully I can continue to do these videos weekly. Uh, right now, actually, just yesterday, I uploaded the first video to my channel, and I don't think it has gotten any views yet. But yeah, you know, that's not the point of these videos. The point is to have something for my family to remember me by, and to have something for me to remember my hobbies, and of course, practicing English, as I, as I said. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.